Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. Rieger sacrificed himself so I could get to you. Damn it. I feared as much. He gave his life for me. For the mission. A whole team of scientists and marines, and I'm the only one left. I hope the board finds the data valuable. It looks like I just saved your mission. Maybe now your people will let me steal you for my mission. Just let me transmit the data from a secure <laughs> channel. Then I can leave with you. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Come on. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if... After. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Tali Zora. Looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. You don't have to like them, Tally, but we're on the same side this time. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. That's all I'm asking, Tally. I'll be in engineering if you need me. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. She didn't like that one. What's this area of the ship? This is the Normandy's That's technical not lab. What I wanted you can to investigate know. new research upgrades that will improve ship or team performance. Okay. I might need That's to go logging you out, Shepard. Hey, Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay. I don't know who Lorik is. Okay. Okay. Sure. Probably do a couple of uh, mission. I 
Alright. Purple and organic enemy with pain. I like that. <coughs> Three meters. Sure. I guess it technically doesn't matter. to speak with you. Huh. Talk to him soon, alien. If we decide you're not welcome, you'll know just before we kill you. Okay. Over, Captain. What a rank. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Turians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales up and let the Pijaks feast on the mother still alive. Not clan reports use weak encryption. I see reference. 
references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. someone to follow around. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are a nerd knot. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. <laughs> what do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rin calls a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. I should go. Suit yourself. Okay. This is valuable. Huh. told me to be polite. He didn't say you were going to talk to me. So, you're in charge of Erdnot scouts? Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Okay. What does a scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. Thanks for the information. Whatever. At first I thought it was a waste of ammunition just to kill incoming vermin. Now. Nah. I think if these Erdnot can pinpoint such small mammals with these guns, they'll make short work of an incoming invasion force. Eyes straight ahead. Give me a reason. Don't Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of Rinkol. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. <coughs> what? You think we kidnap Quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. <laughs> Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Step back. My Baron is hungry. Must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepherd. 
good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> Shepard! My friend! You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. This isn't a reunion, Rex. I've got work to do here. Indeed. History is second to important work. I said the same thing when I positioned her not to unite the clans. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Ooh. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? The Normandy died, more permanently than I did. I'm back, fighting the odds. Maybe you can help. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Ganatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even Erdnot. We need to rethink. Restart. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Okay. they had on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Fixing something. I'll tear you apart! You don't have a plate, don't crap! Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. Okay, 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 okay. If your guards are looking for a fight, then we can oblige. This will be interesting. They haven't had a human in their sights in some time. Of course, if they draw their weapons, the Erdnaut warriors will be on them in seconds. Assuming they survive what I do to them. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnaut from Clan Nakmor. We're a small clan based in the Kratic Wastes. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnot? Clan Leader Rex requested that I come. 
He and Clan Nakmore have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnod could rally others behind its banner, truly unite Tuchanka, and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. If Nakmore is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmore Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. Thank you.